Oh, and it's finally time to meet the leader of this operation, the Grand Puppeteer, who has manipulated the police commissioner, destroyed a large statue, organized jets and an invasion, and what the hell is that? <laughs> his entire body is covered in beads except for his mouth, and those beads are underneath his robes and turban. This guy actually dressed himself like this. He chose to put this stuff on! There. Sure glad I don't look stupid in this. Wait, wait, wait a second. I know what's actually going on here. He's using the vibrating heat suit from Jimmy Tango's Fat Busters. I'm taking those speed pills of yours, and I'm wearing your vibrating heat beads. And by riding your snake, not only have I shed 65 pounds in four days, but guess what? I found out I'm the devil! Oh dear lord, this artwork is so awful. Look how tiny this guy is compared to Natalie Stack and the other terrorists. Apparently the leader of Al-Qaeda hails from the land of elves. Oh, but the absolute cherry on top of this Sunday is the dialogue. Not all of us around here have a problem with English, my curvy young infidel. And not all of you have a problem with being a lecherous weirdo, you short, beady... weirdo. And as my unfortunate Irish colleague demonstrates, our recruits aren't limited to those from the Middle East. Um, by his own admission, he wasn't a recruit. You guys were paying him to build your bomb. And no, I didn't keep you alive just to gloat. It was also to leer at you. Also, main character shields. Your beheading will make a bitch of a video. Maybe if we'll do you nude, that'd put the fear of Allah in you. Art. Are you real? Are you really what Frank Miller thinks the leadership of Al-Qaeda is like? That's adorable.